Hey, this is Vern Yip here. Thank you so much for coming out to the 11th Annual Women's Empowerment Series 2009. I'm just about to go on stage and redo a bedroom on a budget. It's going to be quick, it's going to be fast, it's going to be dramatic, and it's going to be really fun. Hey, so, what we're going to be discussing is inexpensive ways that you guys can change over your bedroom quickly, easily, and dramatically because in today's economy, we don't have tons of extra cash, right? Oh man, I heard that. So, so the idea is to give you guys a way to freshen up your bedroom very inexpensively. Uh, before we start that though, I'm going to give you guys a, a little insight for those of you who aren't familiar with me, uh, of my background and how I got to be here. Uh, do you guys watch so HGTV? I apologize if it's a little cut off on the left side, um, but we're going to go over these principles one by one, and each one of these principles are designed to help you transform your room very inexpensively, very effectively, and very dramatically. So the first thing that you should always start with, and I say this all the time on the show, is a space plan. Very, very important. Before you even buy a gallon of paint, before you buy your bedding, before you buy anything, start with a space plan. You know, I always do mine on the computer, but if you don't do yours on the computer, you can just get a piece of grid paper, scale it to the size of your room, and start cutting out pieces of furniture so that you can begin to figure out before you buy one thing, what's the best size bed for me? What's the maximum size I can handle in, ter in terms of nightstands? Uh, can I fit a seating area in my room? And if so, you know, where should that seating area go? So it's designed to help you effectively use your money so that you don't buy things just because they're on sale or just because you love them uh, and then get them home and then figure out that they don't really fit to your space the way that you wanted them to.